Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, it's Dr. Sisi and today we shall be diving into a topic that so many women might actually find confusing. PCOS or fibroid, are they the same? Which one causes more pain? Can you have both at the same time? Now let's start with PCOS. PCOS stands for Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome and this is actually an hormone disorder that affects how the ovary works. In PCOS, the ovaries may develop many small fluid-filled sacs which we often call the follicles and they might not release eggs regularly. Now, it is important to note that not every woman with PCOS will have visible cysts. It is more about a hormonal imbalance, especially an increase in the male hormone which is the androgens. Now, what are the symptoms that people with PCOS might actually come down with? Or might actually complain about. Common symptoms may include irregular or absent periods. Some people may complain of excessive hair growth, which we often refer to as hirsutism, and this hair growth may be excess facial or body hair. Some people may complain of breakouts, acne, while others may notice significant or excessive weight gain. Then others may actually complain that it's been a while they've been trying to conceive, difficulty getting pregnant. On the other hand, what are fibroids? Fibroids are not cancerous growths that grow in or around the uterus. They are not caused by hormones like PCOS, but hormones like estrogen can actually influence their growth. Fibroids can come in different sizes. Some are tiny and others can be as big as a watermelon. Some women may not even know they have fibroids until an incidental finding on a scan. Now, what are some symptoms of fibroids? People who often have fibroids may complain of heavy menstrual bleeding or prolonged bleeding. Some may also complain of intermenstrual bleeding. Others may complain of pelvic pain or pressure. And in some cases, some may even have fertility issues. Looking at fibroid, looking at PCS, what are the difference? How can you tell the difference? Are they really the same? So here is actually a simple breakdown. Let's start with PCS. PCS are often caused by hormonal imbalance, unlike fibroids that are just physical growth in or around the uterus and are usually non-cancerous. What about in respect to the menstrual flow? For PCS, you notice people with PCS actually complain of irregular or absent periods. But when it comes to fibroids, most commonly they often come with heavy menstrual bleeding or heavy menstrual periods. Then when it comes to pelvic pain, pelvic pain is actually less common in PCS, unlike in fibroids, whereby because of an abdominal mass in the tummy, they can feel pain. For fibroids, some people might notice there's something growing in their tummy which is a mass. So if you notice that there's a mass or there's something going in your tummy, it may just be a fibroid. Looking at it from the aspect of fertility problem, in PCOS, they usually have difficulty ovulating. And when it comes to fibroids, it can also still cause some fertility problem depending on the size and size of the fibroid. So it can actually affect implantation of a fertilized ovum. Now, how do you know what you have? Do you have PCOS or do you have a fibroid? If you are experiencing symptoms like irregular circles, excessive bleeding, prolonged bleeding, excessive weight gain, acne, you might just need to see a doctor. Or even fertility problems, it is best for you to see a doctor. An ultrasound may actually be requested because it will actually help to visualize both the polycystic ovaries or even fibroids. And a blood test might also need to be done to help check your hormone levels. Now, is it possible to have both? Yes, it's actually possible. The two conditions can actually coexist. Why they are different, they can coexist. And that can make it a little bit tricky. And that's why medical evaluation is important. Now, what treatment options might actually be available to address PCOS or fibroids? For PCOS, it's usually managed with lifestyle changes, diet, exercises. And the doctor might actually prescribe some medications to actually regulate your periods or actually help reduce the male hormones. In some cases, fertility treatments might be needed. For fibroids, treatment depends on the size and the symptoms. So to recap, PCS affects your hormones and ovulation. Why fibroids are just physical growths in or around the uterus. Both are treatable and having either of the two does not mean you are broken. It just means your body needs extra care and you deserve that care. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, 
please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads and you might also want to share this video to people who might find this video helpful until next time stay healthy stay empowered it's dr cc bye